Boys and girls, when we read our story, what happened with Mariana? There was a problem. Abby. Her plant wasn't pollinating. Her plant wasn't pollinating. How did she solve that problem? Nick. Um, by, um, uh, with, um, a pen with helping out with, um, an agricultural engineer. An agricultural engineer helped? What happened then? What did they have to do? Abby. They had to pollinate the plant. I think we should make hand pollinators, but we have to first think. What materials and properties of materials would work best for picking up pollen and dropping it off? If I gave you a bag like this, these are going to be the only supplies you have. In your head, I want you to think about how could I use what Mrs. Mott gave me? How could I use this bag to create a hand pollinator? I want you to write what property it has that will help it or allow it to be a good hand pollinator. No. Is it sticky? No. What, else, what other property does this have that you could put there? Pom pom is fluffy. It's rough. Oh, and Marble is, you can't see through it all. Yeah, you can. Is this clear? Yeah. No, it's not. This is no, not clear. No. That is. You did a really great job of talking together about which properties are important if we're going to make a hand pollinator. So your hand pollinator has to be rigid or flexible. Heavy or light? Light. Hmm. How about what color your material is? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is my flower. This is the middle of my flower, like the yellow part. Okay. And I want to pollinate it, but I'm going to use a pretend material. You're going to need a cup, and you're going to need a cup with a hole in it. Here's why. I'm going to, on my table with my partner, I'm going to put the flower where I'm going to get the pollen. Now you don't want a whole lot of it, so I'll come around and put a little bit on there for you. I'm going to test my marble on here. If I take my marble out of my material bag, It'll stick the pollen on the marble, and then if it's a good pollinator, it will drop it off. Drop it off where? To another flower. To another flower. Okay, we're gonna take the marble, we're gonna go into pollen gently, because insects don't go. Rrr! Insects just land on pollen, hold your flower, and go tap, tap, tap. How are we gonna see? There is some on the marble. How would we see it? It's white paper. The middle is black. Ooh, I see a little. Don't blow. You will compare how the marble did and how the tape did and the eraser, but you have to also do the pom-pom and the foil and the pipe cleaner. Show me a good way to get your seats. You're supposed to. Okay. No, you, you need to do it one more time. Oh, hold it. Um, you did it. It got no pollen, some pollen. Yeah. I think it picked yeah. up some, right? It, it just picked up some. Well, not a lot, but just some. Yeah, no, in between some. Them. Okay, no, now you're true. Guys, I think this one and this one are tied. Yeah, that one looks better. This one looks better. No, the both kind of the same. It's How much pollen does it drop off? Circle and answer. No pollen, some pollen. Oh, lots of pollen? Some pollen. This, this one is lots of pollen. No, this one. No, this one did a lot more. 
You did a really, really great job. Tell me what you found. Raise your hand. What did you use? What did you do? What did you find? Nick. Um, the tape did mostly mine. What did it do? It um, took a lot of pollen and then um, spread it to the other, um, the flower. other flower. Did it drop it off? Wow. Wow. Jacob, which one worked best for you or worked pretty well for you? The palm pump and the pipe cleaner. Why do you think, this is for everyone, why do you think he's saying the pom pom and the pipe cleaner worked the best? Predict why. Why, it, why do you think he said those two? What properties does a pom pom and a pipe cleaner have that makes this work so well for Jake? Ooh, did you hear it? Yeah. Say yeah. that again. They're what? Fuzzy. Because no, the be bees are like that, yeah. and they can collect the like. Yeah, bees are like that. They, they do the like same so thing handy. like like uh, yeah. the like the pom pom. And um, so the pom pom did what? Uh, uh, it sticks on the, the pom pom. pom because of the because uh, the bird picks picks up things because. Because hair, like this one's straight. It, it can pick up something on one, on one of its sides. Wow. You're doing some really big thinking today. I have three bonus opportunities for you. Your team can take one item for the bonus. So you have to come down, pick one thing predict if it will be a good pollinator material, and then test it out with the three tap process. Do you want to do a flat cotton ball or a round cotton ball? Let's do a flat cotton ball. Okay. Did you decide it together? Did you decide as a team? Yep. Okay. We were doing a lot of thinking today with a lot of materials and the materials had a lot of different properties. Did we ask a lot of questions? Yeah. We were in the ask stage. You asked me questions, I asked you questions. We tried things out because we were asking. Did you like it? Yeah. 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 Say whoop whoop. whoop whoop. All right, on day three, we allowed the children to explore the materials that they were going to have available to them. Um, it, I had never done that before. I've always just said, here's what we have, let's get started. This was an opportunity for the kids to start thinking and talking with their partner about these are the materials and, and just creating a dialogue between the children um, that I had never done before. <laughs>